So, you've pulled Chi Chi. Well, regardless if you wanted her, you should actually build her. Why you may ask when Chi Chi is regarded as the worst standard 5 star? Well, for the acquainted fates of course. On a serious note, despite the negative connotations Chi Chi has, she actually is good. A lot of characters get overlooked because they may not output the most damage, but just because a character doesn't output the most damage out of everyone, that doesn't mean they're bad or unusable. Far from it. For Chi Chi's case, I really do believe Chi Chi is useful, she's a very good healer and many will agree on this, but a negative aspect of Chi Chi's healing is that she doesn't do much outside of healing. However, with the right setup, this can be changed and Chi Chi can do more than just heal. Chi Chi can be a tank, absorbing all the incoming damage and healing herself while carrying her team's damage through enabling reactions and dealing pretty good damage herself. So today I'll explain how to build and maximize Chi Chi's strength with all the new additions in Genshin up till now. I will speak about her healer build as well as her tank build. Without further ado, let's get into the guide and start off with Chi Chi's kit, specifically her normal attacks. Chi Chi's normals are your standard 5 hit combo. The scaling of her normal attacks aren't very high, however they are very fast, so in this regard they balance out. As a healer, Chi Chi's normals are unimportant, but as a tank, they're very good. Because of their high speed, Chi Chi can enable reactions to occur at a very fast pace, much faster than other units can. Now for Chi Chi's skill, it's a form of healing Chi Chi will grant to the active character. Her healing skills off of her attack, and her healing occurs every 5 seconds. 5 seconds is a big delay, but she can provide additional healing to all party members through attacking enemies with her normal attacks while the skill is active. This ability has a really good synergy with her fast normal attacks, as it allows Chi Chi to very effectively heal her team and make up for the delay of healing. Chi Chi's healing through her skill is really good, but it's further strengthened by her first passive talent, where if the active character triggers a reaction while Chi Chi's skill is in effect, that character will receive a 20% healing bonus. This skill lasts for 15 seconds, but has a long cooldown of 30 seconds. In truth, this isn't really too big a deal because Chi Chi already gives good heals to where when this does occur, your party's health is already at its max. And beyond this, Chi Chi has other forms of healing while this cooldown is in effect. The first is through her passive talent, A Glimpse into Arcanum, where if Chi Chi normal attacks enemies, there is a 50% chance enemies will have a fortune preserving talisman for 6 seconds. Basically all this talisman does is that when enemies have it and take damage, the character that dealt that damage will receive healing, and really high healing at that. This talent occurs every 30 seconds. The other form of healing is her burst, of which let's get into. First, it's an AoE attack that deals cryo damage. The burst heals Chi Chi a great amount, but not the party. Instead, enemies hit with the burst will have the fortune preserving talisman, like her talent I just mentioned. So if your team needs healing, you can quickly switch to them and attack a few times to completely regain their health. This burst also has a great uptime thanks to its duration of 15 seconds and a 20 second cooldown. Yet, you're not going to be using it frequently because Chi Chi struggles with energy. Her burst costs 80 energy, and oddly enough, a Chi Chi skill does not produce any energy. So for Chi Chi to actually gain energy, she's reliant on energy from defeated enemies and energy that's produced from her teammates. It's best to only use Chi Chi's burst when your party has taken a lot of damage and can't be healed by Chi Chi's skill or passive talent because they're on cooldown. With this in mind, if you're building Chi Chi as a healer, the talent you should prioritize is first your skill, as that will be your main source of healing for both Chi Chi and your team, and then you should prioritize her burst. As mentioned, you won't be using her burst as frequently as you would with other characters, but it still will heal Chi Chi, which of course is still important, as without her, you can't heal your team. Lastly, for her normals, you can just ignore them. For the tank build, prioritize her normal attacks as you will be constantly using them, then focus on her skill, and lastly her burst. Now that we've covered her kit and talents, let's talk about the best artifacts and stats to use on Chi Chi so you can better her playstyle and needs. First, for early game players, you can mix and match the 2 piece sets of Sojourner, Exile, Braveheart, and Scholar. Specifically for the tank or on-field build, in addition to the last sets, you can also use 2-piece Tiny Miracle. For more survivability, you can use the 4-piece, as well as 4 Defender's Will. Additionally, you can also use 4 Braveheart and either set bonuses of Martial Artist. Now for late game, the set I recommend the most is Ocean Hued Clam. This set is the best for both builds because it caters to both playstyles while giving other benefits. 
Firstly, the two set gives you 15% healing bonus, which will increase your healing a good amount and strengthen the four piece bonus. Essentially what the four piece does is that when a character with this set does any form of healing, a bubble will form and explode in three seconds, dealing 90% of the healing dished out. Since Chi Chi heals so well, this bubble can deal a lot of damage nearing 30k and with superconduct, it can easily go beyond that. A great thing about this set is that even if you apply healing while your team is at max health, the bubble still appears, so you're able to frequently generate the bubble and deal some very solid and noteworthy damage to enemies. This set is amazing and easily Chi Chi's best set. Because Chi Chi already heals so much, there's very little reason to increase her healing further. It's far more worth it to instead give Chi Chi artifacts that will allow her to do other things that benefit your team like this set does. A quick tip for this set, which I do, is that when Chi Chi's skill is in cooldown, don't just wait for the cooldown to finish and not deal any damage. Use Chi Chi's burst. This will enable you to continue to heal and continue to deal damage while the cooldown is in effect. And with enough energy, the bubble can actually be active 100% of the time. Chi Chi's burst lasts for 15 seconds, so if you can always use her burst when her skill finishes, the bubble will always be active and always deal damage. I highly recommend for you to use this set, even 4 star artifacts of this set can work very well, but if you don't want to spend the resin or you don't care for this set, there are other options. In regard to healer Chi Chi, 2 maidens and 2 ocean will net the most healing, followed by any 2 set giving healing bonus and attack percentage, lastly is then any 2 sets with 18% attack, but I recommend to not specifically go for any of these sets and just use what you already have. There isn't a massive difference between these 3 sets, and again with Chi Chi's healing being already very high, you don't have to worry about maximizing healing. Save your resin and just use what you already have, it'll be more than enough. As for Tang Chi Chi, is 2 sets giving 18% attack to give a nice buff to Chi Chi's normals and healing. Since Chi Chi will be on field, you can also build her as a physical DPS. If you decide to do this, use 4 Pale Flame, 2 Bloodstained and 2 Pale Flame, and finally 4 Glad. Though the caveats with these sets is that since Chi Chi's normals are quite low, even with these sets her attack damage will be bad and insignificant. If you want the damage Chi Chi outputs to be high or contributing to your team, the Ocean Hued Clam set deals much more damage than these. It deals triple if not quadruple more damage than these sets. So that would be the set for you. Now for the main stats to use in these sets, for both builds you can use any combination of an attack sans or an ER sans to get her burst back faster. An attack goblet and a healing bonus circlet or an attack circlet. If you're using the climb set or building Chi Chi as a healer, I personally recommend ER, attack, and healing bonus. Since with these three stats, Chi Chi can regain her burst back much faster, which extends her healing and increases the frequency at which the bubble occurs. Moreover, Chi Chi will dish out great healing, which equates to higher damage dealt by the bubble. If you're building physical Chi Chi, use attack, physical damage bonus, and either crit rate or crit damage. Now for what substats to aim for, the stats are the same for both builds, which are ER, attack, and crit. As for energy, try to get around 200 ER. Now that you know about Chi Chi's artifacts, let's get into her weapons. For those in early game, the best swords are the Cool Steel and the Fillet Blade. Both of these swords give attack and thus can be played for both Chi Chi builds. There is also the Skyrider Sword, which can work well for a healer build. The energy recharge would help Chi Chi get her burst back faster and improve her frequency of healing. Moving to late game weapons, again the healer and tank builds share many of the same weapons, so you can give either of them the summon shaper, the sword will grant the highest attack and make Chi Chi's healing insane, the skyward blade which grants high energy recharge, this blade also increases attack speed which is very useful for both builds. Finally you can use the Aquila Favonia or any other weapon with attack percentage or a high base attack. For 4 stars, there are many 4 star attack percentage swords, so you can use whichever ones you have. The most notable of them is the Kagatsuribei Ishin, I totally didn't butcher that, and the Flute. These swords have a damage dealing passive that scales off of attack, of which Chi Chi will have a lot of, so with these swords Chi Chi can deal some high extra damage. Then is the Kagayuchi, which is a good middle ground for having high attack and having better burst uptime. However, since Chi Chi's skill has a 30 second cooldown, she can only make use of one of the sword seeds. And even then, it's likely at certain points Chi Chi won't even be able to use her burst and actually make use of the seed. So the sword is not a complete solution, but if you lack just a bit ER, it can be a good help. 
Also, it's best to only use this sword if it's R5. At R5, one seed equates to 12 energy, which is fairly good, but when lower, the energy gain is just not worth it. Finally is the prototype Rancor. It's a good free-to-play option to start off with, and it has a passive that works well with Chi-Chi's kit. In addition to attack swords, you can also give Chi-Chi ER weapons. The best ER swords for Chi-Chi is firstly the Sacrificial Blade. This sword is very good on her aesthetically, which is absolutely no competition with other swords, and also kit-wise, it's very good. What it will do is that it will remove the cooldown of her skill and allow you to use her skill again, which makes playing Chi-Chi a whole lot better. Finally then is the Favonia Sword, which will give Chi-Chi and her team tons of energy particles. Now let's speak about something that has hopefully not, but probably scarred you, Chi-Chi's Constellations. This is probably the most depressing part of the guide, and I don't mean to continue to bring you bad news, but unfortunately, Chi-Chi's Constellations are really not good. They don't take her to any sort of next level, nor solve the big problems she faces, but instead they pretty much just add little buffs to what she can already do. The best constellation she has is firstly her C1. This constellation produces energy for Chi Chi when her skill hits an opponent marked by a talisman. This is a decently useful thing for her to have since she won't struggle with energy as much, but I'd really only say this is very useful if you're using the ocean set, since the bubble would proc more. But outside of that, with how good her healing is at C0, the additional healing that comes from this isn't needed. It's useful to have, but is not really needed. The next constellation of hers that's good is her C4. With this constellation, enemies that have the talisman will have 20% less attack. Normally, I don't see these constellations as worthwhile, but since Chi-Chi does have some downtime in her healing, which can leave your team in a vulnerable position, this is a fairly useful constellation to prevent or, at the very least, lessen the chances of your characters dying in the downtime of her healing. Now finally, last but not least, let's go over some teams to play Chi-Chi in. Right off the bat, since Chi Chi is a healer, you can place her in any team that needs a healer. She'll fit the team and she'll serve them really well. But for specific teams to play Chi Chi in, the first I'll share is a Super Conda team. This team is a nice and simple free to play team that's centered around Chi Chi performing her normal attacks and driving the reaction of Super Conduct. Super Conduct will buff her normal attacks and most importantly, the Ocean Bubble, which is one of the main sources of damage of this team. But it's not the only one. Fischl will deal high, consistent damage to enemies while being a battery to Chi Chi through the use of the Favonius Warbow. Rosaria does the same thing as Fischl while having the added bonus of decreasing physical resistance of enemies if you have her C6. This does increase Chi Chi's normal and bubble damage, though this isn't needed for this team. Lastly, for Beidou, she is a flex spot. You can use whoever you see fit. I went with Beidou just because she'll fit into this team very well and deal extra damage to enemies through her burst. Another form of this team that is quite a bit better is what I like to call a Taser Conduct. As the name implies, with this team you'll be performing Taser and Super Conduct. This team is really good because it adds on to the good traits of the last team while fixing some of its weak points. The team is very close to the last, but with Xing Chou, you get some much needed and high passive damage. Super Conduct itself isn't a great reaction, and with the lack of a true physical DPS or a very strong physical DPS, you can feel the weakness of Super Conduct. But Xing Chou solves this with his really good damage. It'll also be performing Freeze, which is an added bonus to this team. It makes fighting enemies a lot easier. And finally, for Miko, though you can play Fischl like in the last team, Yai is the best because she can give some really good passive damage from her abilities, like Xing Chou. Plus, with her constant skill uses and burst animation, you're not spending as much time actively waiting for Chi Chi's cooldowns to finish. Let's jump to the next team, which is Hyper Bloom Chi Chi. I really like this team as first off, it's strong through the Hyper Bloom reaction, and it's a great way to use Chi Chi in higher difficulty content. In today's Genshin to clear the Abyss, you sort of need Dendro reactions, or a really strong team. Since Chi Chi isn't as strong as most characters, at least offensively, she can really struggle with the Abyss, but not with this team. Being Cryo, she doesn't get in the way of Dendro reactions, you can perform Hyper Bloom very easily with this team, and with the added benefit of triggering Freeze and Super Conduct. Beyond this, since Chi Chi is a really good tank, she's a really good option as a driver for Dendro reactions. With their healing, she can stay on field and continuously enable Dendro reactions for a long time, and with the added healing of Kuki, it's pretty much impossible for Chi Chi to die. But since her healing is already enough, it'd be best to use Raiden instead of Kuki for a buff to burst damage or any other Electro unit that has an added benefit aside from healing. 
The next team is a Eula Raiden team, though it's been almost a year since Eula's banner. If you end up getting Eula whenever she reruns and you also have Chi Chi, Chi Chi can be quite a good support for her. The reason being is that Eula's playstyle and constant use of normal attacks leaves her in a dangerous position where she takes a lot of damage and can easily die. So it's really good to have a healer in your team to prevent this and Chi Chi works really well in this scenario since Chi Chi's healing occurs through normal attacks, Eula can easily heal herself very fast. Another big plus of running them two together is that the Cryo Resonance will be active, which is very useful for Eula. You can run the duo of Eula and Chi Chi in any sort of super conduct team, but I chose Eula Raiden since his team works really well. With the Raiden skill, there will be constant application of Electro for super conduct to occur, and Raiden will batter Eula to where you can spam her burst and deal a lot of damage. Raiden will also solve any energy issues Chi Chi may have. And that is all that I have for you today. If any of you have any further questions, please ask them in the comments and I'll be happy to get back to you. Aside from that, I hope you enjoyed the guide and gained from it. I hope with this guide, your teacher can be stronger and you can enjoy playing her more. If you did enjoy this guide, please consider liking and subscribing. And with that, I'm going to end the video. Thank you all for watching. Take care. And thank you all for watching once again.